Atrial flutter is a rapid atrial rhythm, usually caused by reentry atrial circuits. This means that there is some abnormal focus of electrical activity, looping through an abnormal pathway sending electrical activity towards the AV node. For the purposes of keeping this video simple, the focus causes the atria to depolarize at a rate of approximately 300 beats per minute. Because of this, you could expect the loss of the isoelectric baseline you will see with normal sinus rhythm strips, and you'll typically see what people often refer to as flutter waves, or a sawtooth pattern. So each of these bumps you see here represent atrial depolarization occurring at mostly regular intervals. This is in contrast to the erratic atrial depolarization you see with atrial fibrillation. Additionally, compared to atrial fibrillation, with atrial flutter you'll often see identical R to R intervals depending on the interval in which the electricity is conducted through the AV node to produce a QRS complex. Typically, you'll see anywhere from a 2 to 1, 3 to 1, or 4 to 1 fixed block, which describes the pattern of flutter waves to QRS complexes. Although we won't go into more detail about these blocks, it's important to know that they exist, because this ultimately forms the basis of why you will see identical R to R intervals in atrial flutter. Take this strip for example. You could count four flutter waves for every QRS complex, and so we say this is atrial flutter with a 4 to 1 block. Here's another strip with a 3 to 1 block, and another with a 2 to 1 block. What about this strip? How would you define this block? So in summary, in atrial flutter, you'll typically see identical R to R intervals, unless there are variable blocks. This is in contrast to atrial fibrillation, which is always irregularly irregular. You won't see P waves, but instead flutter waves. These produce the sawtooth pattern between QRS complexes, representing the reentry atrial depolarization. And finally, you'll also have narrow QRS complexes.